Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, it'll take you two seconds. Please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it is a bell notification. When you hit that and I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. Also, if you watch on Facebook, I always appreciate growing an audience. Again, if you feel this information is valuable, please hit the like button down below, but also share with a friend. Again, I always appreciate growing an audience. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Take care. This is Dr. Chuan. In this short video, I'm going to do something kind of different. Normally, I talk about conditions or supplements. I want to talk about something very, very basic. I'm finding out that some people out there are very unfamiliar with really the dietary and the nutritional information of the difference between a protein, a fat, a carbohydrate, fiber, what's a mineral, what's a vitamin. Just basically, this is just a really basic video explain the differences okay so let's first start off with proteins proteins are essential why because the basic building block of a protein are called amino acids amino acids are needed to help rebuild tissue help rebuild nerves help rebuild injuries help rebuild the brain it's good to help with the formation of hormones it's good for antioxidants for the liver for the kidneys the basic building blocks of protein are amino acids. The thing is, most people out there don't take enough protein. How much protein should you take in? I've been working out for 30 years, so my typical diet is a bodybuilder diet, so I take one gram of protein per pound of body weight. However, if you're not a workout enthusiast, start with whatever your body weight is, divide it in two, and then that's where you start. So if you're 150 pounds, Divide yourself in two, that's 75. So you need per day on the average of 75 grams of protein per body for the day. Don't take it all at once, okay? You wanna divide that up multiple, multiple meals. Why? Because you need protein for basic body and cellular function. And where's that protein found in? Meats, chicken, fish, eggs, beans, just to name a few. Or if you wanna get a protein shake, Mix it with uh, uh, almond milk or coconut milk or mix it in with a water or, or whatever, the, uh, whatever you want to mix it in with. You need protein to rebuild your body. And if you're deficient in protein, this is where you get muscle aches. Brain fog, you can't regenerate the tissues. Okay. Next is fats. Fats, the function of fat gives us energy. There are nine calories per one gram of fat. So fat's actually good for us. We need essential proteins and essential fatty acids for our bodies to work. Now with fats, avocados, cheese, eggs, nuts, chia seeds, dark chocolate, just to name a few. Now you, I didn't mention ho-hos and cinnabons. Okay, that's the bad fat for you. This is the good fat for you. Now again, you break it down even further to saturated and unsaturated fat. The saturated fat comes from the dairy fatty cuts of and fatty cuts of meat. You want to limit the saturated fats. You want to gear more towards the unsaturated fats, which are from the fish, from olive oil. Okay, because the un, I'm sorry, the unsaturated fat, unsaturated fatty acids, our body could utilize much more efficient and much more effectively than the saturated fats. Because our bodies are made of two things: essential proteins and essential fatty acids. Next is carbohydrates. Functional carbs gives us energy, okay? There's two different types of carbs. There's your sugar, and then there's your starch. The sugar, sugary carbs, yeah, it tastes good. This is your cakes, ice cream, sweets, fruit. The thing about sugar is that it causes systemic inflammation. It will cause brain fog, it will cause digestive health. It'll cause your thyroid to shut down. If you're taking so much sugar and have that dramatic insulin release, you're going to become a di type 2 diabetic. Okay, so you want to limit the sugar intake. Starches are different. Your bodies could utilize starch much more effectively, but still limit the amount of carbohydrates you take in. Bread, rice, pastas, potatoes. Now, there's different types of carbohydrates that your body can utilize. There's your simple carbs and complex carbs. So you want to do your homework on those. 
when I'm talking about diet and food lifestyle changes, I'm always, again, trying to limit the carbohydrates. So then what should you do? Replace them with vegetables. Vegetables are loaded with vitamins. They're loaded with minerals. They're loaded with fiber. Fiber is good for digestive health. It moves things along and makes you poop. Okay? Vegetables, fruit, lentils, oats, loaded with fiber. So you want to get rid of the carb excessive carbohydrates and replace them with vegetables. Kind of tricky. Minerals and vitamins. Minerals, okay, helps the body's develop and function. Minerals, we cannot synthesize minerals on our own, so we need to take them in with the foods. Dark leafy green vegetables are loaded with minerals. Nuts, beans, seeds, fish, beef, fruit, loaded with minerals. Minerals are needed for cellular function, okay? Now, for example, minerals, magnesium and calcium. Magnesium has over 1,000 enzymatic properties throughout the body, so our bodies love magnesium. It's good for your bones, muscles, nerves, brain. A lot of medications deplete the body of minerals. That's where you get side effects. Now there's nine different types of magnesium, so you want to do your homework on which one to get. Calcium. Calcium is good for your bones. It's good for your teeth. Nerve conduction. Nerve uh, muscle contraction. Muscle relaxation. A lot of prescription medications deplete our bodies by blocking absorption of essential minerals. This is where you get side effects. So one thing I always recommend is taking a multi-mineral. Vitamins, vitamins just like minerals are needed for overall health, normal cell function, growth and development. There's 13 essential vitamins that are needed daily. Just for example, and the foods that they're very, again, they're found in various foods. For example, vitamin C, vitamin D. Vitamin C is phenomenal for your immune system. It's good for as an antioxidant. It's good for promote wound healing. It's good for cellular energy. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is not even a vitamin, actually. It's actually a pro-hormone. Because, again, it helps with the hormonal function. It's good for calcium absorption. It's good for brain. Brain fog, depression, elevates mood. It's good for your immune system. It's good for insulin control. Okay? So... I hope this helps. This is just a basic chart I wrote up just to be, get down the basic building blocks of what is a protein, a fat, carbohydrate, fiber, mineral, and vitamin. I hope this helps. Leave any questions or comments down below and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Have a good day.